Why is potassium so important, especially when starting keto? Well, when you first embark on your ketogenic journey, guess what? You start losing a lot of the water weight that your body was holding back. But with that water weight, guess what else your body flushes out? Electrolytes. And one of the main electrolytes it flushes out that we absolutely need, you guessed it, it's potassium. Now, potassium is very important for our body and it helps regulate many functions. Potassium is important for our nervous system, our muscle, and our heart health. It can help reduce blood pressure, in some cases even prevent osteoporosis. And when we first embark on a ketogenic journey and we start losing a lot of potassium, we can have problems like headaches, constipation, diarrhea, and so many other things you really don't want me to get into. But who am I anyway? Well, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Talita from Shrinking with Keto. And throughout my ketogenic journey, I have lost now over 200 pounds and reversed my type 2 diabetes. Now, throughout this journey, I have helped and coached plenty of people reach their goal. And I hope I can do the same for you. <laughs> Now, the main misconception with people when starting on a ketogenic diet is the fact that their source of potassium is bananas that you can't have on keto or potatoes. But there are plenty of other sources of potassium that you can incorporate on your ketogenic journey. Avocados. Avocados are not only a staple on the ketogenic diet and an excellent source of fat, but they are also packed with potassium, specifically 487 milligrams of potassium or 10% of your daily need. Spinach is also, without a doubt, a great nutrient-dense vegetable. But did you also know that one cup of spinach will give you 540 milligrams of potassium and roughly 12% of your daily intake? Now, another one I want to put in this video, but we need to be very careful of because it can quickly add up in sugars, is coconut water. I use coconut water when a lot of people start the ketogenic diet to replenish their electrolytes. If you're careful with it, you can definitely fit it in your macros. And one cup of coconut water, guess what, has a whooping 600 milligrams of potassium. And if you're an edamame fan, then you should know that edamame provides 676 milligrams of potassium. That is more than bananas. And if you like butternut squash, guess what? it can give you a whopping 582 milligrams just for a cup. Swiss chard is another excellent keto approved source of potassium. And are you ready for this? Just one cup of Swiss chard can provide you with 961 milligrams of potassium, roughly 20% of what you need in your daily intake. But before we move on to the rest of the list, let me interrupt you for a second. If this is the first time you're seeing this pretty face, Come on, let's make sure it's not the last. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell icon so that YouTube can let you know every single time I make a new video for you. And please feel free to ask me anything you want down in the comment section below. And I will try my best to answer every single one of your questions. Let's look at beet tops. Beet tops have one of the highest counts in potassium and they can be excellently incorporated on a ketogenic diet. But also, guess what else? Wild-caught salmon. Wild-caught salmon can provide a very good source of potassium for you to add on your keto diet. And so can Brussels sprouts. Now, I saved my favorite for last, one that is not commonly talked about. But did you know that 100 grams of bacon contain 565 milligrams of potassium? Yeah, you got it right. So if you can have a diet rich in cooked spinach, salmon, avocados, some bacon, Swiss chard, and so many other things we covered, guess what? You're going to have a potassium-rich diet without ever having to eat bananas or potatoes. Now, if you have gotten any value out of this video, I will kindly ask you to press the thumbs up button as this helps YouTube take this content and push it out to more people that need it just like you. So there you have it, my favorite potassium sources for a ketogenic diet. And as always, chin up, or you know, the crown slips.